Hey, what's up everyone? Aubrey Trades here with the Morning Trade Recap. Um, before we get into my trading, because I'm not that great, I'm down about $3.45 on the day, but nothing drastic. I took trades with plans, sized in accordingly, so I did everything right as far as process went. Um, it just didn't really work out in my favor. but. Before we get into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about some runners from the morning. PSRU is definitely one I'm keeping an eye on into the afternoon. I really, really would love for this to hold and turn into a swizzle pattern. That would just be so, 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 so great. Um, uh, what else? PGLO is a good runner touching from the 7s to the 17s. Ridiculous run. I missed my buy opportunity on the dip here in the 10s. Uh, cause I just, I don't know. I like to see more consolidation and then I didn't buy the high day break cause I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to stick to dip buys only. So yeah, missed out on that opportunity. Missed out on PSRU, missed out on, this makes me mad. Missed out on the crazy awesome E-list bounce, which took us all the way back down to the 16 fives before rallying back up to highs of 20 cents. Can you believe such a strong stock and I've been watching this it's been like in every single video I'm talking about it and I just can't like trade it it gets down this high I'm like yeah I don't know let me look at what else is moving that's sexy right when it's like okay this is a strong stock it's got a clear pattern on the daily for a break to new highs right here see uh, breakout here over 1971 and now, you know, we tested this breakout, it held. This is a great day for this stock, even though it's only up 7%, but this is kind of functioning as a little bit of a slow mover. It does, you know, kind of, eh, it, it's, it, it almost likes to gap. So I don't really wanna take this overnight, uh, just because you can see here, like it does sometimes gap, but not, not huge and then when it does gap it almost always gives you a sell to some price level from the previous day uh, so you know i would rather look for that dip by opportunity uh, we're gonna see how this holds up into the rest of the day um you know i wonder if this is going to be like a rounded top to then start the back side of the move here on the daily, looking at what, 16.24, looking at 14.2, looking at 12s as potential zones for this to stop on its way down, which we're gonna add a little zhuzh here so I can keep that on my radar. And the other good bounce was Phil. Had a nice little bounce here. This was the cleanest probably of the entire morning. Again, I just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger. So uh, before I wrap up, we're going to go over ATER, IC, and LIFE. I'm not unhappy with how any of these worked out. Um, I was buying ATER for the break of VWAP uh, to potentially squeeze shorts, especially if we we're going to show strength on this breakout over 1650. Sold half here, ended up taking a small loss here when it failed. So that, you know, that is what it is. Same thing uh, with life. I was taking a very small speculative starter position. I want to say somewhere around here, risking low of day and then selling out. I didn't, I didn't do the smart thing and selling these pops I sold here when it failed to kind of reclaim that second time. I do have show trades up. That's so weird. I don't know why it doesn't like to show it all the time. But it doesn't really matter. I can still see the posted loss. There it is. Uh, 12.03 selling at 11.81. Was sized in for low a day at 11.50, so whatever. But saved myself some pain, right? And then the one that did kind of work was IC. Which at that point was because I was treating it like the scalp that I should be treating these things as. Um, you know, bought 590, sized in for 20 cents of room, which means I could have afforded to help hold through this pullback. Uh, my stop would have been 1570 uh, with a 20 cent stop loss. So I was actually sized, you know, I was sizing myself in for this candle. 
so I guess I could have waited and sold here in the 1615s, uh, but whatever. At that point, I had two losers. I had two breakouts that got stuffed, so I, I figured I'll just take the quick seven cents. It is what it is. I didn't want to risk this pullback anyway. And it looks like we ended up kind of getting back into this range. So uh, this might end up working. It is now like it's solidly uptrending for sure. Um, but we'll see what it wants to do. I'm wondering if it's going to come out of this range break here. If we're going to keep steadily uptrending. Oh, look. Oh, oh, there's the pop out of the range break. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. I'm definitely keeping an eye on IC into the afternoon. I'm keeping an eye on PGLO, PSRU into the close. ELIS, even though I, I don't know that I'll trade it into the close, but it's still holding up strong. PGLO has just uh, gotten so destroyed now back into the sixes. Um, but if this wants to get back, you know, over seven, over eight, could be good for some trades we'll see anyway thanks so much for watching if you found value out of this video please um hit the like button it really helps out with the youtube algorithm consider subscribing and leave a comment down below let me know what type of content you want to see from this channel uh, i'll update this afternoon with a wrap-up of some of the action that happened slash a recap if i made any trades going into the afternoon definitely looking to stay conservative uh, SPY is at session lows here, or just off of session lows, so maybe this is a reversal, but who knows. Still need to keep it very, very careful. Uh, capital preservation. I'm at lows at the equity curve, so it's imperative that if I'm going to take an OTC trade, it's got to be a, it's got to be a stupid gimme, like Elis, the stupid gimme that I didn't take this morning. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm Aubrey. See you in the next one.